Hello and welcome to my channel. As you can see, I've already done my eye makeup because today I don't have anything new for that part of my face. But I did buy a couple of things from the uh, Makeup Revolution X Fortnite collection. I personally don't play Fortnite, but I find their imagery very cute. <laughs> so I actually have a little stuffed animal of this llama and he's on this packaging too and well i always like makeup revolution products and i was in the market for some new face stuff so um they also had a lot of eyeshadow palettes i didn't buy any of those because honestly i'm really into indie eyeshadow at the moment and makeup revolution just isn't good enough <laughs> well i guess sometimes i'm really amazed by their quality but like i said i was in the market for some face stuff so i got a primer I got this more lip balm and a lip oil. And then I got the Peely Banana Powder, which was supposed to be a little bit of a lighter banana powder. And I thought that could be good because they are usually a little bit too dark for me. And then I also have a couple of things from other collections, which I thought I would include in this video. I have two of their liquid highlighters, a lemon one and a grapefruit one. And then this lip liner from their mafioso collection or something oh ma fashion i think it's in the shade milan anyway we're going to give all of these products a try i did my eye makeup there's nothing else on my face subscribe if you like this kind of video i do all sorts of reviews um i also use my older makeup again i do lots of shorts right now because i'm really busy with my final period at university but I'll be back posting a couple of long form videos a week soon enough. <laughs> so you can expect makeup revolution, indie makeup, sometimes luxury makeup if I can afford something. <laughs> I really like all kinds of makeup, just whatever appeals to me. So if that sounds interesting to you, then please consider subscribing. And now let's get into this Fortnite makeup. kind of primers before from them but honestly I thought this one was a really cute execution I think they kind of stole this from Stila if I'm not mistaken they have this sort of primer too and I assume it's going to be more color correcting but could also just be for fun so after two minutes of wrapping up the ripping off the plastic this is what we have oh <laughs> that's cute it sort of looks like children's toothpaste so it actually looks like these three different colors and I'm going to mix them a little bit which makes it sort of an aqua blue kind of shade. <laughs> it feels really hydrating. It sort of feels like a gel, yeah like a gel liquid. I'm always a little bit dry right here on my nose. I have normal skin, but sometimes I get a little dry and sometimes I get a little oily. Yeah, so I think this primer pretty much looks clear when you blend it out. I'll show you on my hand. I don't feel like it changed the color of my skin at all. But maybe that's a good thing when it's this kind of color. <laughs> so I'm going to let this set for a little bit. I feel like my skin is getting a little bit tacky. It does feel really nice and moisturizing. A little bit smoothing maybe. And I don't wear primers all the time, but some foundations really benefit from them. This feels like something that tightened a little bit, still moisturized, kind of, didn't really show any color. Yeah, it is a little bit tacky, but not sticky. For today, I thought I'd do a BB cream, just something light. Um, this is the Purito Sika Clearing BB Cream in the shade 13 Neutral Ivory. This is a BB cream that the first time I tried it, I loved it so much. And then the second time, I wasn't as impressed. But I think that is because my skin was a little bit dry the second time. So I'm going to see how it works today. Whether this primer actually, well, had a positive effect on it. And this is a pretty weird BB cream because contrary to a lot of these types of products, it actually looks better if you rub it in a little bit more vigorously. <laughs> so the more you go over it, the better it looks. I keep getting these little stripes and that was my experience the second time I used this BB cream on its own as well. So. 
What do we think? I fiddled with it enough. I think it looks okay. I think maybe the primer, it's moisturizing, but it also is a little bit slippery maybe. But I must say, now that I've worked at it, I do really like the way this looks. So this is the kind of BB cream that gives a natural radiance that's not necessarily pore filling or, well, too much of anything. It just makes your skin look pretty smooth. And I feel like the coverage is pretty high. And I do believe that wherever I was able to smooth out the little lines, it does look really good. The true test will be, and I'll let you know how it went. I am wearing this makeup today for a pretty long time. I'm thinking 12 hours. Yeah, probably 11 or 12 hours. So I'll let you know whether this wore better with the primer, because usually with this uh, this BB cream, I've worn it about three or four times, I think. Um, it wears pretty well, but it does start to fade after like eight hours. So if it doesn't, then we'll know this is a good primer. I'll add a little bit of concealer and brow gel and I'll be right back. So I'm back, I did my concealer. I used the um, um, Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light and then also the Too Faced Brow Gel. I already had brow powder in. So honestly, I feel like this looks pretty good. I blended out my concealer right away. I usually let it sit, but I did it right away. It blends out nicely. I put the primer right underneath my eyes too. And also as it's settling down, I really love the way this uh, BB cream looks right now. It looks more like the first time I used it and not the later times. So I think this primer does give me a little bit more healthy skin than my actual skin is, so it is beneficial. That's all I can say for now. I'll update you in the speed reviews, but... And also I think it's just a really cute packaging and yeah, longevity I'll keep you posted about. So I have grapefruit fizz and lemon spritz and what I mainly wanted to know is whether these products are light enough for me. Now I'm not wearing such an icy highlighter anymore as I used to still like those from time to time. I mainly like a more sheer glittery highlighter at the moment, but I'm trying to get on board on the liquid cream highlighter train. So I'm back, <laughs> I quickly ate some delicious lunch and I was about to show you these highlighters. So this is the pink one, which I think will be more of a blush on me, but then this yellow one could be a very nice highlight. So I will add some bronzer first. I think that's a good idea. No, wait, I'll do powder bronzer. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I haven't filmed in two weeks. Can you notice? <laughs> and I thought the themes of this, these highlighters were just the cutest. And of course the price was right. Yeah, this is definitely more of a blush on me. That's fine. I love a glowy blush. <laughs> wow, this is beautiful. Look at how it blends. I mean, I wouldn't usually pick out a pink blush with green eyeshadow, but honestly, I don't hate it either. I only used a little bit, but it blends out so easily. I love it. Little bit on my nose. This is really nice. I don't feel like it's too metallic. It's actually a nice two in one because on the high points of my cheeks, it does give a little bit of an icy glow. Yeah, this is really nice. All right, let's hope that the other one is just as good. So I'm taking a slightly different approach with this one. I'm just going to add the teensiest bit to my finger. Because I, well, I guess this one worked fine. But for some reason, whenever I use a brush with this type of highlighter, it never looks too pretty. So I usually just use my fingers. Yeah, this one is definitely a lot lighter. I guess I could use a little bit more, but I think I like it. A little bit more on this cheek. I love this color. I love a yellow highlight. I've been looking for yellow highlights for months now. I finally got a very good powder highlight with the Noctilucent palette from um, Blend Bunny Cosmetics. But sometimes I want something a little bit more natural and then this liquid type of highlight is perfect. So I'm going to stop right here. I like the way it sort of made a peachy shade while combining them right here. I think this is a really good one. It's not, you know, I think the, the pink one is prettier because 
I feel like it's a little bit more pigmented, but I do like both of them. Now let's jump right into powder. I have this Peely Banana Powder from, uh, well, Revolution X Fortnite. And on the site, I bought this at Boozy Shop, I think. And on the site, it said that this was a light banana powder. And I have more of a yellow undertone. So although I also like the pink powder trend, I've always wanted a yellow powder as well, maybe for my face, but maybe also for my under eyes. And I was never able to find one that was light enough, except for maybe the Essence one. I do like that one. So this is a little bit of an awkward component. I'm going to throw some out in this teeny cap. So this is the color of the powder. I don't know if it's that light. Oh, maybe. Yeah, good work. As soon as I swatched it on my hand, it looked lighter. So I always take this little brush, which will fit into this little cap. And then I tap out any concealer that has creased. Okay. I don't think it's too dark. I do think it works even better color-wise on the rest of my face. So let me just set it a little bit. Ooh, this is actually quite smoothing. Look what it does on my forehead. This side compared to this side. I see a difference. Yeah, I definitely think this powder has a bit of a smoothing quality. Also right here on my pores where I just added it. That's nice and I like the color. It's, it is light enough. So I do think and I think this is the fault of just the, the quality of my skin right now, but it could be the primer. It is lifting a little bit on my nose. But then again, I did add three layers of liquid highlight. So maybe don't judge it too harshly. Yeah, this powder is a great find. And look at this giant tub. I think it's, it's 20 grams. So it's going to last me quite a while. And I love it. I even feel like it gives a soft focus effect. Like... It's not matte, it's slightly radiant. I, I really love this powder. So I'm going to add a little bit of powder bronzer. It's going to be this one from Charlotte Tilbury. And this bronzer always blends nicely on top of my foundation, but it looks even smoother on top of this powder. So now that I've powdered and added powder bronzer. What do we think of this highlight? Because my issue with liquid highlights is often that as soon as I put a little bit of powder just somewhere around it, it's disappearing. So you let me know if you feel like this is enough. I feel like it could be, especially for a kid's birthday party. So let's bring it home with some lip products. Since I'm wearing a green eyeshadow look and my cheeks are turning a little bit more pink right now, I think I'll put on this one first, just to show you, and then I'll put on the lip liner with the lip oil as a second. And I go through these kind of lip products pretty quick, so I had no quarrels um, buying two of them. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. And honestly, this packaging is even more pretty than I thought. It has the little llama right here. It has the, the swirl that we know from Givenchy products, but it also has this rainbow metallic cap, which I really love. And it's supposed to be a lip gloss, actually, not a lip balm. But it looks very balmy. And I'm curious to see if this actually has some pigment. You know what? It does. And not too strong too, but there's definitely a purple hue on my lips at the moment. Formula wise, it's definitely not a lip gloss, but more of a liquid lip balm. I really like this. It feels very comfortable. It has a bit of a sheen and I really like the color. It's not fitting my look right now, but I do cool toned looks all the time. And I find that purple lip glosses are usually kind of see-through. If you apply too much, it does create a little bit of lines. So I took off a little bit on my hand. Yeah, so that would be my tip. Maybe don't apply too much, but I do like it. Yes, it could be a really nice topper with a cool toned look. So I took that off and now we're going to take this 
little lip liner. Honestly, isn't this like kind of small? I don't know. Maybe it's because it was in the box. So this is the lip liner and this is the color and I love this color. It's sort of my Glam Light Frosted Flakes lip liner, if you've ever seen me use that. Only... No, I guess it's quite different. It's a lot more apricot. It's a really interesting color. I love it. I really like this color and it's going to match my very nude lipsticks really well because I like a peachy nude for uh, my lips. And I like a really pale one because I am quite fair. So a lot of lip liners are too dark for me. I think this one is going to be really good. So now let's try maybe the cutest object of this whole video, which is the Nana Nana Peely Lip Oil. <laughs> and I'm sure it's not going to be yellow at all, or at least not this yellow, but I did put on my yellow nail polish just in case. And I love a good lip oil, so it's fine. Oh my god, it smells like bananas. I love it. Yeah, it doesn't really tint the lips, I don't think so. But it's nice and it's glossy and it smells amazing. So for me, this is a win. And there you have it. That's my makeup look complete. I like it, yeah. So the winners for me, the powder, the lip oil, best things that I tried today. I like the lip liner, but I'll have to see how long it lasts. I do really like this liquid lip balm, but I don't like the fact that it created those little strings. So I do like the lip oil a little bit better, um, but this does feel really comfortable and the color is really nice. So this is a close third. Then the highlighters. I really love the pink one. That one I just love completely, but um, it's... I guess it's not a color I'm going to reach for a lot, but I do like it. And then this one, I guess it is a more subtle liquid highlight and you have to make sure you don't apply it on top of too much. Um, but I do really love this shade. So I'm going to keep on trying that. And then the thing that I'm, I guess it's the most interesting object, but I know the least about it is this primer. I felt like even though it made my skin feel nice and it gave a good base for makeup, the particular BB cream that I used didn't really vibe with it too well. After a little while, it all settled down and I was able to blend it out and it looked fine, but I don't think it's the best combination with everything. But it does feel nice and hydrating and it did also feel like my skin was going to hold makeup a little bit longer, like it had a slight tack. So I'll keep you posted on everything that I tried, but mainly that primer. I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, subscribe if you did like it and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.